So the main important thing, guys, when doing this problem is the, I'm looking at this using the power of quotient rule. So the power of quotient rule, if you guys remember, is whenever you have a quotient raised to a power, you can simply break that up by rewriting this as 27 to the 2 thirds over 8 to the 2 thirds. All right. Then again, if it still is not really helping you, that's using the power of the quotient rule. Again, if you can rewrite them as radicals, a lot of times that can help you understand the problem better. So really, that's the cube root of 27 squared divided by the cube root of 8 squared. Now, in this case, all right, so if we, if we go ahead and take a look at this, in number 42, rewriting it in this format makes it easier, Christian. However, in this format, do I really want to take 27 squared and then take the cube root of that number? That's really not helping me out, right? Um, 8 squared is 64, and the cube root is 64. You guys should know your cube numbers by now. That answer is 4. Um, but what was another way that I showed you guys how to do this? We could also rewrite this, rewrite 27 and 8 as exponents, right? So watch, here's another way to do this problem. I could rewrite 27. Is 27 a square number? A number multiplied by itself gives you 27? Is 27 a cubed number? It's 3 cubed. So I could rewrite it as 3 cubed raised to the 2 thirds. And is 8 a square number? No. Is 8 a cube number? Yes. Therefore, now, by rewriting it like this, again, it doesn't matter if you do it this way or this way. In number 42, this is the easier way. Uh, this is the way I would say to do it. But for this problem, you could do it this way. I just, if you don't have a calculator, why would you want to do 27 squared and then take the cube root of it? If you rewrite them as exponents, what's um, the 3 cubed times 2 thirds? The 3's divide to 1, right? So therefore, you're left with 3 squared over 2 squared, which your answer is. 9 over 4, which we already knew the answer over here was 4. This answer would have been 9. Yes? For 27 squared, can you just say 27 times 27 and then take the cube root of each 27? Yes, so you, you could do that. you get 3 times 3 mm -hmm. times 3 times 3. Yep, absolutely. Yes, you could, that would be an easy way to do that without a calculator. Yes? So it's easier to do the exponent way then. 